discussed about what is meant by testing, what is meant by automation, what is manual, what uh, what are the different tools available in automation. Uh, out of that, uh, QTP and Selenium are quite popularly used tool. In that we will, we came to know that Selenium has huge uh, demand in the market. Selenium has been invented in the year 2004 by a scientist called Jason Huggins and the company which has developed this is ThoughtWorks 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 Selenium initially they have implemented Selenium IDE Selenium IDE Selenium IDE initially in the year 2004 they have implemented Selenium IDE that is nothing but integrated development environment integrated development environment next one is RC that is nothing but remote control next one is web driver we are going to see about initially in the year 2004 they have implemented selenium ID they found some drawbacks with the selenium ID Later on, in the year 2007, they have implemented Selenium RC. Again, they found some drawbacks with the Selenium RC. Later on, in the year 2008, they have implemented Selenium WebDriver, where everyone are using Selenium WebDriver even now also. And we are also going to learn completely about Selenium WebDriver only. Okay, make a quick note of this. Then we'll start working with Selenium WebDriver. We are going to start working with Selenium WebDriver. Selenium comprises of three components Selenium ID, RC, and WebDriver. Now, let us start learning about Selenium WebDriver. We are going to start learning about automation using Selenium WebDriver. Okay, I have a website. Imagine that I have a website. This is my website. My website name is abc.com. I have username text box. I have a password box and I have a login button I have a login button I have a login button I need to login into this application I need to login into this application if I want to login into this application first I need to open the browser then I need to open the URL called abc.com then I need to open the URL called abc.com open the URL called abc.com then enter the username in the username text box enter the username in the username text box enter the password in the password box then click on login button these are the steps what I am going to do these are the steps what I am going to do after opening the browser and URL after opening the browser and URL if I want to enter the username in the username text box first identify this username text box identify this username text box and perform some typing operation identify this password box perform some typing operation identify this login button perform some click operation to do any sort of automation whatever you are going to do in automation you are going to learn only two steps you're going to learn only two steps one is identifying the element identifying the element 
second one is performing action on it identifying the element and performing action on it performing action on it performing identify the element and performing action on it identify the element identify the element and perform action identify the element and perform action these are the only two steps what we will be doing to do any sort of automation whatever you are going to do you are going to do only two uh, two steps here take down this to identify the elements you do not have any java knowledge to identify the elements you do not have any java knowledge only to perform action only you need to have java knowledge only to perform action only you need to have java knowledge To perform action, we do not have any Java knowledge at all. Okay. Uh, to perform action only, we need to have Java knowledge. To identify the elements, we do not have any Java knowledge. But to identify the elements, we need to have basic knowledge on HTML. We should have basic knowledge on HTML. We are going to learn the basic knowledge on HTML. We are going to learn the basic knowledge on HTML in today's session. We are going to learn the basics of HTML from in today's class so that that is the prerequisites to identify the element okay if you want to learn the basics of html if you start designing a small web page if you start designing a small web page then we will come to know the basics of html then you might ask a question sir are we going to develop the web pages in real time no we are not going to de develop the web pages but we should have the knowledge we are not developers to develop then do we need to learn this yes of course the basics is necessary not a complete knowledge on design color font and all this thing just how a basic web element is a web page is built if you have that knowledge that that is more than sufficient for us okay that is why what we are going to do now is we are going to start learning the basics of html by designing a web page imagine that only for today's class for next another 45 minutes we are hardly it will take 45 minutes to one hour to learn the basics of html but most of the people those who are working in real time now also they may think that i am not a developer right why i have to learn the basics of html i am not a developer why i have to learn the basics of html in that case if you have that uh, if you have that uh, doubt sorry mm. What I am going to do, I am going to start learning the basics of HTML by designing a web page. Think that only for today I am going to be as a developer and start developing the web page. Okay. Now, before any developer develops a web page, he will be getting the requirements from the client. He will be getting the requirements from the client. Based on the client requirements, we will be starting designing a web page. Okay. Now, I am going to start developing the web page. I am going to start developing the web page by using different different um, elements. As I said, to imagine that only for today I am going to be as a developer and I am going to start developing the web page. This is what my client requirement. Normally it will be given in a paint document or paper and pen. I will take a paper and pen and I will ask the client what is your requirement. He would have said that this is my web page. This is my web page. The title of the page should be I should have a title of the page as Welcome to Selenium. Welcome to Selenium. I need to have a username text box. Username text box password box I need to have a button I need to have a checkbox as reports 
I need to have a radio button, male radio button, female radio button, a Google link. Likewise, these are some different different elements. What we have many more elements like images, select drop downs, uh, text area, lot more things are there. We are not going to learn completely. We can go give a color, font to all these things. We are not going to do all those things because we are not developers. Only th this, how these basic elements are built. If you know that, that's enough to start stepping in identifying the elements. From tomorrow onwards, we will be starting identifying the elements. Before we step into tomorrow's class, we should know the basics of this HTML. That's why if we start developing this HTML page, we will come to understand the basic knowledge on HTML. Okay. This is called a text box. This is called a text box. This is called a password box. This is called a button. This is called a checkbox. This is called a radio button. Radio button. Button. This is called a link, hyperlink. Likewise. These are the different different elements what we find in my um, what my client has sent me to develop. I am going to start developing this web page. Okay, this is the client requirement. Take down this requirement page into your notes. Then I am going to start developing this web page. Take down this quickly. Next, I am going to start developing this web page. Okay. Any HTML page will be developed. Any HTML page will be developed by using a technology called HTML. Any HTML page will be developed by using a technology called HTML. Writing the HTML code. Any HTML page will be developed by using a technology called HTML. Writing the HTML code, I can write it anywhere. I can write it in WordPad. I can write it in Notepad. I can write it in edit plus, I can write it in notepad plus plus, whichever the editor I want I can write it, I can write it. But while I am saving that file, but while I am saving that file, I have to save it dot html extension. Okay. What I am going to do here, I am going to use a plain notepad and I am going to start developing the web page. And I am going to start developing the web page. Any html page will start with html tag and it will end with html tag any html page will start with html tag and it will end with html tag html tag has two child tags called head tag any html page has two child tags called head tag and body tag body tag 
this is how slash is nothing but closing html which is opened here and which is closed here slash is nothing but closing any html tag has two child tags call head tag head which is opened here and which is closed here and which is body which is opened here and which is closed here this is the basic structure of html even an, our human structure is divided into two parts one is head part and body part right the same way here also the html page is divided into head and body all the elements whatever you are going to build <coughs> all the elements whatever you are going to build it will be under the body tag only all the elements whatever you are going to build will be under the will be under the body tag only okay now don't take down this listen all the elements like username text box password box login button check box all these things will be under the body tag only apart from body like title or some other thing whatever you have that will be under the head tag that will be under the head tag all the elements are under the body tag only now let us start developing this now after writing the code what you have to do save this file go to file go to file save i am going to save this file go to file save i am going to go to d under classes under batch 250 i am going to create a new folder i will name this folder as practice one or some folder under this practice one folder i am going to save this as sample dot html dot html is mandatory you can give any file name sample or pratap or anything dot html is mandatory give dot html and save this I have written this code in a notepad. I have written this code in a notepad. Okay. Then I have saved this with .html extension. Where? Under D, under classes, under batch 250, under this practice one folder, under D, under classes, under batch 250, under this practice one folder. I have saved this file. This is the file what I have created now. If you save automatically, it will be saved like this. Okay. Now, if you want to see the output of this, either right click open with open with whichever the browser you want you can click on that so that it will open this is the web page what i have developed i have not developed anything that's why it is showing an empty page okay this is how to see the output after right if you want to see the source code of that right click open with notepad you will be able to see the source code Okay. If you want to see the output, right click open with the browser. If you want to see the uh, uh, source code, right click open with notepad. What I am going to do going further, I am going to write the code to develop the web elements. Elements. I will write the code here, press Ctrl S. I will press Ctrl S. And each and every time, I don't want to go and right click and open with the browser to see the output. Already I have opened that, right? If I just go and refresh this, I will be getting the updated output here. I will be getting the updated output. This is how you have to start developing the web page. This is how it will be. This is how you have to set the platform. See, to do this, do you have, do you require any IT knowledge? To do these things, do you require any IT knowledge? No, it's not required. Basic, you can open the notepad, do all, write this code, press Ctrl S, save this with .html somewhere inside one folder. You can go to that folder where you have saved it, open that, right click, open with the browser, you will be able to see the output. Don't keep on having a mindset that I am from non-IT, I cannot learn, I am from non-IT. If you keep on thinking like that, you will never learn it at all. Keep that mindset aside and start learning this. Then you will be able to do this. Okay. Guys, everyone, are you understanding what I am telling here? Yes. 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 Who is this Danvik account? Danvik account. Menaka, okay, Menaka. Mute your microphone, everyone. Mute your microphone, I said, please, someone who is unmuted. Now, I want to start uh, creating the web, web element. I, I want to start creating this. This is the first element. The first, well, I need to create a title of the page. The title of the page should be Welcome to Selenium. That is the title. Title should be under the head tag. Title should be under the head tag. So that start creating the title here. Title, Welcome to 
selenium title okay now i am going to save this save this done save is done i have saved it now after saving what i have to do i have to normally right click and open with the browser to see the output but i am not going to do that already i have opened that if i refresh this this title will get renamed see that i am going to click on this refresh it will change the title to welcome to selenium yes this is how you have to start developing the start developing the web pages start writing the code in the notepad press control s come back here and refresh you don't want to have any softwares to develop this web page and you don't want to remember any tag names and all these things anyhow page will be already developed so that you don't want to remember you don't want to require any softwares by default you will have some notepad in your laptop and you will have any one of the browser with that itself you can start whenever a particular software is required to work on selenium at that time i will inform you right now nothing is required right now nothing is required now the first element in my web page is i need to create a text box i need to create a text box input is the tag to create a text box type equal to text so that i will be able to create a text box input type equal to text so that it will create a text box that i have created a text box this is how to create a text box if i want to create a check box input type equal to check box so that i will be able to create a check box input type equal to radio so that i will be able to create a radio button so that i will be able to create a radio button likewise input type equal to check input type equal to radio input type equal to text like that we'll have all the we can create the elements this is how i have created a text box but i need the label as per my requirement i need the label for this text box as username so that what i can give i can give the label as username and create a label as username yes this is how to create a username text box. this is how to create a username text box next see similarly like this i'll have many elements in a web page many elements like when we see a government form username first name last name like that we will have many elements first name last name likewise we will have many elements in a web page okay but all the elements will have the same code input type equal to text input type equal to text input type equal to text like that that is the same code only the label only will vary the code whatever i have selected that refers to first name or last name it refers to first name since there are only three elements easily you are able to tell that that refers to first name but if there are huge elements some 50 50 elements or 60 elements in between if i have selected will you be able to tell that no it will be quite difficult to tell whether that refers to the previous one or next one that's why normally whenever we create any element whenever we create any element it is better to give id equal to u name which means that this refers to the username text box 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 id equal to u name input type equal to text id equal to u name without this also you are able to create it for future reference purpose we will be giving that giving this id equal to u name id attribute even without that also you will be able to do that okay for future reference don't ask me sir why we have to use that id equal to u name you don't give it at all don't worry about that Okay, if you have too many elements with this, uh, with too many text boxes to vary the code between each and every text box, we will be using that. 
okay that's it. now next i need to create a password box similarly to this i need to create a password box how to create a password box same copy and paste it input password username text box and password box yes, this is how but can i have the password box like this no password should take encrypted characters dots we should not have password box like this password box is different from text box password box is different from text box input type equal to password so that i will be able to create a password box username text box and password box yes this is how to create a password box next i need to create a button input type equal to button input type equal to button so that i'll be able to create a button yes i have got a button input type equal to button okay rls input type equal to i can give a submit also submit so that it will create the button name as submit but i don't want the button as submit i need a button only but i need the button name as login on the button not before the button or after the button so that what i have to give value equal to i am going to give it as pratap so that i'll be getting the button name as pratap guys since this is not our topic i'm going a bit fast okay we are not you don't want to remember any code also in real time you don't want whenever you want to see the source code right click inspect you will be able to see the source code this input tag is a child tag of body tag body tag is a child tag of html tag if you understand this parent child relationship that's enough if you understand this parent child relationship that's enough okay you don't want to remember any code here that's why i'm going up. i don't want the button name as pratap i need the button name as login whatever you give here it will be displayed there login so that it will be creating a button name as login then give it is better to give id or name always id login button or something that is how i can create a button next i need to create a check box input type equal to check box so that i'll be able to create a check box it is better to give id always id equal to rep reports or rep or something i have got a check box i need as per my requirements i need reports as a label not before i need after this that's why what i am going to do i am going to give after this as reports after this as reports yes reports how to create a report next i need to create a radio button i need to create a radio button i need to create a radio button radio button mail radio button of him input type equal to radio so that i will be able to create a radio button yes i have got a radio button but i don't want the radio button here i want the radio button in the next line i want the radio button in the next line what i can use i can use br tags breaking reference okay so that what happens it breaks the reference and bring it to the next line it bring it brings it to the next line but normally developers won't use any br tags and all they won't do that what they will do they will start creating all the radio buttons in one table all the 
links in one table if you have some other elements also they will group different different elements in different different tables if they start creating a table automatically it will fall in a new line automatically it will fall in a new line that's why they will be creating a tables and start putting the elements inside the tables how to start creating the elements inside the table first let us talk about this male and female radio button this male and female radio button should be in one table with one row and two columns should be in one table with one row and two columns this google link should be in one table with one row and one column should be in one table with one row and one column okay this male and female radio button should be in one table with one row and two columns this google link should be in one table with one row and one column male radio button and female radio button female radio button should start with table tag any table will a table with one row and two columns table starts with table tag and it ends with table tag this table should have how many rows only one row tr is nothing but table row table row ends inside that row how many columns i require i require two columns td is nothing but column table data that is called as column table data table data and table data okay here i need to have male radio button here i need to have female radio button here i need to have female radio button a table with one row inside that one row i should have two columns let us start creating the elements inside the table i'll give you time to take down listen listen should start with table tag and it should end with table tag should have how many rows two rows why two rows only two rows. one row inside that one row i should have how many columns two columns td is nothing but column td td is another column this is the table here in the first row first column i need to create a male radio button in the first row second column i need to create a female radio button this is how i have to start creating the elements inside the table okay let us start creating this male radio button input is the tag to create the radio button type equal to equal to radio so that i will be able to create a radio button let me refresh this yes actually let me give a label as male yes i have got it male radio button actually this element is inside a table that is inside a table but i am unable to see the table why because i have not given border for the table i have not given border for the table border equal to thickness 1 border equal to thickness 1 this is how to create a table is how to create a table a table with one row and two columns in the first row first column i have male radio button in the first row second column it's empty it's empty just do that now in this first row it is better to give id always for any element it is always prefer to give id now i have got this next i need to create the female radio button female radio button yes male radio button and female radio button normally when developers are developing right they will keep the table after the development is completely done they will remove that border 
they will remove that border so that at the background it will be in a table only at the background it will be in a table only at the background it will be in a table only but you cannot see the table that is how it is no can i select both male and female radio button can i select both male and female radio button is it possible in real time no you should it is not possible out of both only one should get selected only one should get selected right in that case what i have to do i have to group both the radio buttons i have to group both the radio buttons if i group out of both only one will get selected how can you group it grouping can be done by using a common name grouping can be done by using a common name name equal to gender name equal to gender next i have to give name equal to gender name grouping should be done only by using name not for not by using other elements grouping should be done only by using the name in that case male out of both only one will get selected if you have five cities also out of five cities if i want to select only one in that case what i will do i'll group all the five cities i'll give a common name to that five city name equal to city name equal to city name equal to city like that so that out of all the five cities only one will get selected that is how grouping can be done finally last one more element is left last one more element is left that is google link this google link this google link should be in one table should be in one table with one row and one column that is how i have to develop the table let me start creating the table and start putting the elements inside this a a table with one row with one row and one column here i need to create a link a is the tag to create the link href is equal to https colon double slash www dot google dot com i am going to give the link name as pratap when i click on this it will redirect to that href whatever i have given i don't want the uh, link as pratap here what i need the link as google i need so that it is not based on the text what you give here it won't redirect it is based on the hyper reference what you give here it will re uh, redirect that is how to create a link yes i have created a link see as i said you don't want to remember any code at all you don't want to remember any code whenever you want to see the source code of any element right click on this element inspect you will be able to see the source code in this source code you should be able to clearly understand input is the tag name input is the uh, a uh, child tag of td tag td tag is a child tag of tr tag tr tag is a child tag of tb uh, t body tag t body tag is a child tag of table tag these parent child relationship you have to understand input is a tag name type is one attribute type attribute as a value called radio id is one attribute id attribute as a value called female name is one attribute name attribute as a value called gender these parent child relationship and what is tag name what is attribute and attribute value if you understand that's enough you don't want to remember any tag names also that is why i am telling you you should know the base if you know this basics of html going further from tomorrow onwards we are going to start identifying the elements we are going to start identifying the elements at the time you will feel very easy till to remember all these things i am going to give you on shortcuts very quickly element tag name tag name mandatory attribute attribute value additional attribute attribute value okay let me use some elements
first element is text box text box is the first element tag name is in, input is the tag name <coughs> type equal to text here I will be giving either ID or name that is user defined next password box input type equal to password ID or name that is user defined next one is button input type equal to button or submit here I will be giving value that is button name checkbox input type equal to checkbox ID or name that is user defined next one is radio button input type equal to radio here I will be giving both ID and name for grouping purpose that is any name or ID I can give next one is link A is the tag to create the link href equal to URL if you want ID or name I can give or else leave it also done ok just uh, whatever I have written here I have created tables and I have written inside this right you can just take down this then you can take down this code also ok this will give you a more uh, revision whatever we have done ok now sorry take down this into your notes quickly take down this into your notes <coughs> 